I'm DJ Anomaly. This is the Mix Track Pro and how to set up the audio. A lot of people have been asking how do I set up the audio, I've been having issues. Well, my laptop recently died, so I put a fresh copy of Windows on there, Windows 7. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. So, first thing you want to do, make sure that your USB is plugged into the back there. Next thing you're going to want to do is make sure your audio is not on mute down there. Go ahead and plug in the USB and you'll see this lights up first and then everything lights up. And you get that nice little sound from Windows saying that they they got the drivers and everything. If it's your first time, down here it's going to tell you that um, installing drivers and then it will say drivers installed ready to use so we'll go ahead and open up virtual DJ and all the lights here go off except for a few of them here so next we're going to configure a few things on here so you'll want to go up here to configure you click on that and you'll see right now it's set up none single output simple go here click on new mark and everything changes single output none I like to switch this to headphones and you have your master one and two headphones three and four hit apply and we can hit OK. So now, if I load up onto this deck, we should hear something. So let me find some tracks here. Sorry about that. And let's go with some new. And you see there's some cover flow action going there. We can change that. I'll get into that in a second. Um, let's just make sure we have some music. So we'll drag to here. It loads up. It means on the left deck we've got music. Right now I don't have any speakers set up so we'll just make sure that through the headphones we're hearing something. Um, you also want to make sure your faders are up and also, this is real important that your Q, you can just leave it in the middle for right now and that this is up a little bit. And now we should hear something. Fingers crossed. Grab my handy dandy headphones. And the response is kind of a little bit laggy on there, so I'll show you guys how to fix that. But you should be hearing something. If you have something hooked up back here, I know it's going to be upside down. But if you have something in these RCAs out to whatever auxiliary or whatever you're doing with your speakers, you should be hearing the same thing. If you want to hear exactly what's coming out of the speakers, you move this. Q mix all the way over to the right program that's going to give you exactly what's coming out if you move here all the way to the left you'll hear only whichever is cued so right now this is cued you'd only hear this one and in the middle is a mixture so I tend to like to leave it on program for most of it but sometimes I'll so I can slightly hear one and make sure they're on beat that kind of stuff We'll get into all the details on that stuff in a later video, but the sound is working, and I'll get to how I like to set up my virtual DJ here. So we'll go to, let's see, I believe it is options, yeah, options, and let me zoom in here so you can see. I like to put the crossfader to screen.
scratch. Pitch range to plus 10. So it's just not too crazy, a bit more accurate. Enabled um, jog mode vinyl. Sensitivity. I prefer it to be a little bit more than the default. Usually around two something. For me, it feels a little bit more. more realistic that way but you know everyone has their own preference mess with that a little bit if it's too sensitive it gets really crazy so I like to leave everything else but that jog sensitivity scratch I like to change that so I leave everything else in okay the next thing I like to change um, is everything going on here in the middle um, some people like having that, see exactly what's going on with your crossfader and such. Um, to me, it's all here, so I don't really need to see it on the screen. It's just taking up real estate. So I like to switch that to scratch. And now you can see what your scratch in there. Also, before I wrap up, down here, if you don't really like the whole um, cover flow, it also takes a lot of space. Um, you can go here, click on the little eyeball, and you take covers off. And now you have more songs. So it's all preference. If you got questions, feel free to ask. Until then, I'm DJ Anomaly. Thanks for watching.